Hey guys and welcome to part 2 of the Shadow the Hedgehog playthrough. Since we are finished with Sky Troops, we are going to continue on the neutral pathway and we're going to go to the Iron Jungle. Where it's a jungle made of iron. So what, does the Iron Giant live here or something? Or Iron Man, Iron Maiden. Wow, that is not a painting in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the, and this is what happens. Shadow androids. Whoa, look how terrible that <laughs> looks. <laughs> That is like really jagged looking. I look at compared to our shadow. <laughs> How can this be? How can you be so jaggy? <laughs> You're not even accurate enough in detail. Listen up, shadow androids. The Eggman fleet is oh shit! This game is technically foreshadowing the events of Detroit become human, androids becoming reality. <laughs> and this is where Shadow goes mental. Well, here's a way to tell if you're an android or not, Shadow, if you're really, really willing to do this. Cut yourself. Cut yourself. See if you bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your breath and see if you pass out. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's continue on. And, oh look! The best character in Heroes. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> I can hear him, but I can't see him. That's what you can do, folks. You can change the mission structure by pressing left and right on the D-pad of the GameCube controller. It temporarily gets rid of the of the allies, so they don't constantly score you. Yeah, just do what you want. All right. As for the rocket launchers, the way they function is that it's auto lock, but I think it's kind of awkward to. Mind you, you do get those rocket launchers where they're like homing, where you hold down the button and then you let go once the target reticule pops up. Mm -hmm. Since we're again, since we're not doing the stage again, the hero mission, basically that big giant egg balloon that we saw, Omega wants us to destroy it before it gets to the end. For the dark mission, we have to take care of all the GUN soldiers for Eggman. So now Eggman's a villain again. Yes, <laughs> Eggman's the goodie for only one mission. And to think this robot right here, that grey one, used to be a boss in Adventure 2, and look how easily that went down. <laughs> and look at this. Um, this is a Gatling gun, folks. This is one of the more high-powered weapons. It can one kill most enemies, and I'm wielding it like a goddamn madman. And it's clopping through the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Another little tip, actually, that you can use to take advantage, folks. Those bars when you're glowing red or or blue. If you don't use the chaos abilities, you have invincibility until the bar runs out. But also, you'll get infinite ammo. I noticed that you jumped over a mega there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. If there's someone that you really don't want to talk to, just jump over them. Yeah. I well, can you imagine if Big the Cat was here? <laughs> His mission will be like, can't find ten frogs. <laughs> find ten frogs. Well, there's a bunch of aliens. Like, well, and the light speed dash glitched up on there for me. <laughs> it, I was press. I pressed the light speed dash button, but then the game forced me down. So I was out of my control. And you were saying before you were really interrupted. <laughs> uh, I actually forget. <laughs> <laughs> my mind is blank. <laughs> Rob's mind gone blank. <laughs> No, unfortunately, if you fall down here, folks, you have to deal with the shadow androids. But if you t like you like me, if you time your home time just right, you can completely skip it. Shadow, why are you dancing? It's his way. That's his <laughs> way to gain speed. You constantly mash the the X button to do a one eighty degree turn, and it gives you a boost of speed. If you, in fact, if you continue doing that, you can go really, really fast. Is that shadow android like throwing a bomb? It's throwing lock on missiles. <laughs> And here's the doctor's base. This would be your last chance to destroy that egg balloon, where Omega will go absolutely eight shit if you fail. It's like, why can't he just destroy it himself? Exactly. He's perfectly capable of doing it. Exactly. It's like, oh, I can't do this, but Shadow's the main character. He must do it. What was your personal history with this game of how you got into it in the how you got into it in the beginning? Well, I randomly bought it at a game station. <laughs> Remember those? Oh. How much was it back then? It was when they did, like, that 2 for 20 deal. Ah. Uh, where it would be, like, say, 12 99 like, each. Okay. So, that's how I got it. Like, I think I got it about 2006-ish. So, it was still, like, fairly recent. Uh, and when I, when I played for it the first time, it was through the neutral pathway, like, what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. Uh... And like, I quite enjoyed it, like, like at first, because like, I was only like 12 years, old, 12 years old at the time, so I didn't really know any better. 
and now what do you think looking at it nowadays as you're in your 20s? I mean, it, it's a bad game, but I wouldn't call it like the worst. I mean, I think there's much worse games in the series than this. <laughs> Fair enough. Please, I need to know those androids, the ones that look like me. <laughs> Shadow, are you about to have a, a panic attack here is, or something? <laughs> the, is the motion capture from Adventure 2 still in the storm of the way how bodies move here? <laughs> and why is everyone going to have that sound effect whenever they just move their hands like... <laughs> well, at least Omega's voice is not as annoying here as 06. Aye. Now, here's the egg breaker, folks. And to show how pathetic this boss is, I'm going to beat it in 11 seconds. Just go all the way here on this turret and mash the shit out of the B button. Do this quickly because he will destroy the turret. Just aim, fire, and done. <laughs> Jesus. I never knew you could actually end it like that quickly. And then when you're what the fuck? <laughs> you saw that? He just kind of dropped dead. No, he was, he was. The way that Android looked at it is like, it's like, paint me like one of your French androids. <laughs> The fact that Eggman didn't even bother to get out of the cockpit, he was just awkwardly sitting there staring at the floor. Uh, that's well in development sense I would say that's a that's an excuse to put a white screen because they can animate an explosion. Mm. <laughs> and that logo there, that's supposed to represent the black arms, the alien species. In fact they'd made such an impression that they'd not made any other appearance after this game. <laughs> <laughs> even Shadow's laughing at that now. <laughs> <laughs> Again, another scene that you're meant to be taking seriously, and I'm laughing at it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a thing. That's a you. That's a common thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this ultimate life form they keep referring to is the Black Hedgehog, and he. Died. He's losing his mind. He thinks he's a clone or something like that. I must be the android Doctor Eggman created. Oh, you're the real one. <laughs> <laughs> you were the chosen one. <laughs> And he's pissed. You're going straight to the place you created me from. So, like these cutscenes, you would get the you would get the same cutscene, but the backgrounds would be different depending on the stage you were in previously. Mm. So, say if I was in the middle and the bottom path there, I would, and then I chose to go to lava shelter, it would play the same cutscene. Speaking of which, we're on to the last stage of the neutral pathway, lava shelter. Yeah, these story modes are like quite quick. Yeah, especially when you just don't care. Another thing, good thing they got right here, rail swapping. <laughs> Is this like the only thing you can praise it on? Yes, because you remember how gotchy it was in Heroes? Yep. And how eh it was in Adventure and Adventure 2? This is where it got better. In fact, Sonic 16 even brought that back. Remember you had to j manually jump? At least it did something, right? Aye. Uh, only one out of the 98 things it did wrong here. Another thing about the wall jump here, folks, is that you can run on the wall for about five seconds before you lose grip. Now, this is the, usually the six stages, folks. They always end in two missions because this is the last. One mission is get to the goal, which is pretty much Omega's mission here. We need to get to the center of the base, which is a glorified goal ring. What Eggman wants us to do is to activate the volcanic defenses by shooting down those defenses, which raises up the lava. But the downside is that this blocks off certain paths, and that lavas instant death, even with rings. <laughs> so, Eggman has like, a random shadow, like, like just randomly hidden there. Uh, oh, wait till you see this boss, actually. I think this is, I think this boss at the end of the stage is one of Eggman's stupidest, like, really weird and stupidest creations. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little trick right there, just when you're... When you're falling down from that specific height, just hold up and you'll land on that platform. So that big generator, do not destroy it. Otherwise you'll rise the lava. Now a good thing about well, a good thing if you're doing these collectible missions, the checkpoints, you can swap between them. Like transport to different locations to so say if you've missed, say, a chow and you mm -hmm. need to go back. You can go to the checkpoint and select which one you want. Do you imagine if this game had a chow garden? Uh, I don't know why they, they const the fans constantly want that back. I don't see the appeal. Well, it's like a sort of pet simulator game, so like I know that a lot of people like that. I, I, I that's nothing wrong with that, but it's just for me personally, I never found the appeal. Maybe blame me because I never play Pokemon, so. <laughs> 
Right, let's zip through the level and let's see how, how many times it fails to load. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> Omega, please help me. Up yours, Faker. <laughs> <laughs> right, this point on, it's nothing but grind wheels. So I'm going to go use the, the boost here, the 180 degree turn, and go really, really fast. <laughs> and this bit right here. Okay, folks, for those watching, put it in the comments below if you just get dizzy but in this scene. <laughs> Yeah, this kind of make me feel a wee bit dizzy. <laughs> That's what happens when you mash the button to gain speed. And level done. <laughs> you say Eggman's in possession? I don't see Eggman in the, in the, with the emerald in his hand. I see a big massive super emerald. <laughs> you imagine that? The super emeralds come back and we got a hyper shadow. <laughs> Jeez, well imagine what he would look like. Well, I bet it's easily just pure black instead of like all shiny rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, color! My weakness! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't exactly put that in like, a dark and edgy game like this, can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, another thing this game does, it tries its hardest to be edgy as possible. Unnecessary swearing. Damn. Like, damn isn't exactly edgy, is it? <laughs> no. It makes him look, it makes him look childish. Yeah. And you too, Omega. It certainly looks as if you, well, done quite And here is Eggman's stupidest boss creation ever. The Egg Dealer. It's essentially a gambling machine, folks. So, if you let's say, for example, he gambles, him, he gambles, and then he selects missiles. He get, he gets the missiles for you. If you gam, if you change the slot machines, you, the missiles are work on your favor. <laughs> yes, there's even a mode where he makes shadows stronger. Let that sink in, folks. Another thing about these stage sixes, last bosses, folks, some of them get reused a lot. <laughs> Who are you pointing at? <laughs> He's pointing at us. You! <laughs> and this is all you do, folks. Only attack the slot machines and hope they work on your favor. And that's it. Don't <laughs> my ring collections. <laughs> my robot wife's engagement ring. <laughs> Don't bother with the rings, folks. Just focus on the boss. <laughs> yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> yep, he made me pissed. <laughs> the boat. Realistically, if Eggman got that, he would summon androids after you. Mm. But why would he build this in his own machine? Because he's a moron. <laughs> Are you sure this guy has an IQ of 300? Hmm? Are you sure this guy has an IQ of 300? <laughs> Look at this. He's lost control and he's got to drop one of his own bombs. <laughs> <laughs> that one should have killed him. Yeah. Right, time for my missile fever now. <laughs> Jeez. <Jesus. laughs> now, what Omega just said that if you do have a weapon, if you jump high enough, you can attack the cockpit directly, but I don't use it. This is the better strategy. A little fact actually, if you have a second GameCube control, you can have another pers person take control of the other character, like Omega here. Yeah, don't they have like punching animations and that? Yeah, even, what's that blonde girl, Maria. She has a slap maneuver and it can damage Shadow. Wow. <laughs> it's only characters on the ground that you can ca you can control, so like characters like Doom, Charmy and Eggman you can't control because they're in the air. Mm. But everyone can punch and home and attack. Did Omega just say ow? No, he said da. Ah. <laughs> like da. <"Dah." laughs> no, launching sequence initiated. Yeah, he's just hanging on. There we go. <laughs> and that's it. That's the egg dealer, folks. We're going to see that plenty of times. Eggman's stupidest creation. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor, but this is the end for you. Omega looks like he's about to go into a boxing match, doesn't he? <laughs> put him up, put him up. <laughs> Imagine that, like Rocky versus Omega. Jeez, oh. he'd like just pull out his turrets and like just shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope he's still a badass personality when they get to when he gets to Team Sonic Racing at the time of this recording, anyway. <laughs> 
There's our damn fourth Chaos Emerald. Yep. <laughs> Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. So, what are you gonna do with them? <laughs> made you, and this is how you repay me. I am Shadow. Oh, this is another. This is another thing, folks. He always goes on like this for his endings. This is who I am. Yeah, and people thought Knuckles was gullible. This is who I am. Oh dear. What? Goodbye, Doctor. So Eggman actually died? Yep. <laughs> well, let's go back and change that, shall we? <laughs> right, folks, for what so for this playthrough, what I'm gonna do is every sixth stage I'm gonna show the, the good and the bad. Because in order to get the two endings, you need to complete those correspondent missions. So what I got was the good ending to the neutral pathway. Now I'm gonna get the bad ending. Yeah, the good ending and Eggman dies. Like, what could be worse than that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but those endings, can you imagine something like that? Like, I'm Shadow, the ultimate fry cook in this McDonald's restaurant. <laughs> I will use thy skills to pay the bills. This is who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am Shadow Sex Fraud. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't give them any ideas, you. <laughs> so, what we have to do for this mission? Well, activate the generators. <laughs> if the, one, the one you said do not destroy. Yeah, now we have to destroy them. Now you, you can't use melee weapons. No, melee attacks, I meant not. You can use weapons. But Shadow also has basic punches and kicks. Don't use them. <laughs> the piss poor, ra piss poor attack range and piss poor traction. I also think the spin dash is like really like pathetic in this game as well. Yeah, <laughs> like you have to stand still in order to perform it. Fun enough, I kind of forgot that the spin dash was in this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they tried to introduce new maneuvers in the 3D games, and then it's like, oh no, we want the spin dash back. Damn, not here. <laughs> well done. <laughs> That's because the jumping fucked me up. Well, one minor detail I'm going to have to say here. I like that they don't restart the music track when you die. Ah, uh, that's true. One inconsequential detail. <laughs> you know, Shadow must have really good upper body strength if he's able to hold on to that. <laughs> Why isn't his chest buff like Knuckles and Boom? I guess it must be all that chaos energy or something, I don't know. Probably. Damn. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's, it, you can't do that trick on the lower platform, folks. It always has to be the very, very top platform that you can do that hold up analog stick trick and avoid the lava. But what's going to happen here since I'm doing the bad ending, we're going to get a different design ending for the for this particular stage where we're going to get into an exclusive section that we didn't go to with Omega. That's only after we destroy, well, activate the third generator. Feels very quiet for Omega, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I am a badass. <laughs> And everybody wanted Gamma back, and and what does Sega do? They bring another robot who's given and give him a no shit personality. So how could they how could they bring Gamma back? He blew up. Well, I suppose Eggman would rebuild him. Mm. Like I want to rebuild the robot that turned traitor. <laughs> so he built another robot with the same sort of personality as Gamma, who betrayed him again. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point, after the whole E series of robots, he says, "Fuck it." <laughs> I'm not doing them again. Yeah, because wasn't Omega meant to be like the last one? Ah, uh, and then he, he just—he was just dumped in the, in the internal waste. That well, that's how we were first met him in Heroes. See what I mean, folks? <laughs> well, why don't you command your robots to stop attacking me? <laughs> I know, like, why else are we gonna destroy them? <laughs> Alright, once you've destroyed this generator, folks, we're gonna take a different path, all the way to the left. Down the hall and to the left. Yeah, there's just a, a Donald Trump like model just standing there. Just <laughs> no, Donald Trump model sits sunbathing in the lava. <laughs> there's just like a quiff of hair just like floating. Hey, it, it explains why he's so orange. <laughs> <laughs> just take your time here, folks. Watch the lasers. They will cause knockback. This is generator number four. 
Well, since you're a fan of Godzilla, Colin, Godzilla's approaching the generator and it's losing power. We do not talk about that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say that. You Knowing that we just mentioned it, we're going to end up doing it eventually. Well, there's not much of a story to it, to be honest. Maybe we'll maybe make that as a Cal Gaming looks at. <laughs> Because you pretty much summed up the whole story right there. <laughs> the generators. <laughs> with the occasional monster thrown in. And they had so much potential in what I heard. It should have been like a full on like modern remake of the Destroy All Monsters game. Like on the GameCube. Godzilla Save the Earth. Yeah, and that as well. Aye. Because Destroy All Monsters was the prequel to Save the Earth. Right. Uh, so I think like, they should have done like an HD sort of version of that game. Like everyone would have loved that. Mhm. Mm and look at that! Just when the mission ends, you get invincibility frames. <laughs> As the missiles completely missed me. Yeah, now Eggman like calls off his attacks. Nobody lays a hand on him except me. What are you gonna do with him exactly? <laughs> well, he's gonna karate chop him. I mean, we saw that early in the good ending. Perfect. Who's to say that he's gonna do it in the bad ending too? Well, for this stage anyway, like I said, for there's ten different non-canon endings. <laughs> loading. We are still loading. You did very well, Shadow Android. Why, thank you. <laughs> you have surpassed expectations. Maybe I might pass on my designs of these androids to Cyberlife. <laughs> and they'll invent fully humanoid androids by 2038. <laughs> Collected them to destroy wow, what a sudden change in perspective. <laughs> I created I gave you light. I gave you an order, or have you forgotten? Idiot! Perhaps I need to teach you a lesson. Oh, you'll teach me a lesson, alright. One gambling beat down later. <laughs> so yeah, folks, the the dark side ending boss is exactly the same as Omega. <laughs> this looks familiar. It, it just randomly just popped yeah. up. <laughs> I am a badass, I like to teleport wherever I want, I please. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you could tell I'm playing this game because my first letter is, in, is the rank. <laughs> yeah, so many A ranks. Which is a uh, damn, which is sad in my case. <laughs> I fucking hate myself, and I hate this game. Bro, upon yourself. <laughs> hey, uh, if no one was going to do it, I was left no choice. <laughs> Because all of you were like, no, we're not doing that piece of shit. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. I made you, and this is how you repay me? I am Shadow Android, the ultimate life form, a copy of Shadow the <sighs> So pretty much in the neutral pathway, it's the e neutral pathway's ending is, is that he sees himself as a robot. <laughs> Nothing else. What? Goodbye, Doctor. And the Doctor's Deet. Again. Fatality. <laughs> for dead, for real this time. So that was playthrough number one, folks. The neutral pathway. Well, that was the shortest game ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wish it was this short. Could you imagine, like, how pissed people would be if this was, like, how short it was? <laughs> <laughs> this theme playing right now is called Waking Up by Julian K. It's the same band who did the, the theme for Team Dark and Heroes. Every path has a different ending theme, folks. Some are good and better than others. The worst, I think, is the evil one. Yeah. We're almost dead! Almost dead! Right. Ugh. I'm sure I've heard this song somewhere before. Like, not even in a Sonic game, I've heard it somewhere. Is it the band? Aye. So, overall thoughts on on this particular non can ending of Shadow being a robot? It's stupid. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> and to think this was directed by none other than Takashi Zuka. So everything and you have a negative about this game, blame him. <laughs> oh, this is a cutscene we haven't seen before. Ah, uh, this is this is. I think it was Adventure Two Heroes and Onwards. They always show you all the cutscenes during the credits. There's your vocal themes right there, folks. <laughs> Waking up. Yeah, he's in space now. Yeah. <laughs> if you will find out the answers to these questions later on, folks, because yes, this is one 
well, technically two endings that we've done so far. Eight more to go. Jesus. Uh. Right, as well, since I have, I'm already lost nothing, my chill for this came already, folks, and that's, and as Colin's got nothing else to say, we'll just end it off here and let you finish listening to this theme of Waking Up by Jill and Kay. So with that, we'll see you guys in the next part. <laughs> Yeah.